Once again, Google has drastically changed the look and feel of its dashboard with all of the swagger like Britney Spears in the year 2000 when she sang. Before you get mad or angry or frustrated or start throwing your computer, you need to understand that this is something that Google Ads will do. It will change the look and feel of its dashboard every couple of years. And I've been in Google Ads long enough to see this process repeat now a couple of times. I remember back in 2017, people were up in arms and angry and frustrated about the major changes that Google had done to its dashboard. And the funny thing is, is that it will then be the same people again who were whinging about the changes that happened in 2017 that are now whinging about the changes that are happening in 2023 about the dashboard that they were originally whinging about back in 2017. Confusing, I know, let's just take a breath. <gasps> so let's slow it down and understand that the reality of the current Google Ads dashboard that we're looking at, it'll probably be in its current feel for about three to five years, but even in this next three or five years when they're using this current dashboard, it'll probably have some other major updates. In fact, Google Ads has already let us know that there's gonna be some more updates coming into the reporting and what we're gonna be seeing, especially around Performance Max. So this is a process of just Google always changing and updating things in the Google Ads dashboard that we use to view and optimize our campaigns. My biggest word of advice is just to embrace it. You're not gonna be able to call up Mr. Google and get him to make changes. So you might as well just run with it. And what I've always found is that I've always been able to find a way to find the data that we need if there has to be some things that have been taken. But 99% of the time is the data is still there. It's just in a different position. And once you get used to the new layout and how to navigate things, life will go on and Google ads will be the same. So just take a big breath and understand that Really, it just might take a couple of weeks just to get used to the new layout and where to go and just change some of your habits of how you view things, but it's not gonna be the end of the Google Ads world. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the main changes that you will be seeing in the new Google Ads dashboard. And I do wanna point out that with the 60 accounts that I have access to right now, I'm only seeing this new dashboard in three of them, and all of them have one thing in common, is that they are brand new accounts. So if you're not seeing these changes right now, you will see them, no doubt, very, very soon over the coming weeks and months. So in this video, so that you're ready for that, I'm gonna take you through a screen share of showing you the current Google Ads dashboard and the new Google Ads dashboard. And it's really gonna be, I'm not gonna go into all the different things, I really just wanna go into the navigation because for me, once you understand the navigation, you can go around and find anything that you need to in Google Ads. But before we get into that screen share, just in case we haven't met yet, my name's Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you wanna see success and you want extra support with Google Ads in 2023, I really encourage you to join my 10X Google Ads community. Now this is a community where every single month I share a masterclass, which I don't share on YouTube. And I also run live group coaching and account review sessions, which anyone in who is in the community can submit their account for me to go through and do a live review. And then there's also a question and answer section at the end of that session. And then what's even better than that is that we've got a community feed that you can upload questions to at any time of the day or night. And the best thing about that is it's not only me who'll be answering those questions because we've got a community of passionate Google Ads people who will drop in and give their advice and experience, which will be able to help you navigate any current problems that you're seeing in Google Ads. And if you'd like to get more information about my Google Ads 10X community and also get a test of the community by watching our last masterclass, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below and I hope to see you in the community very, very soon. But right now, let's get into that screen share so I can take you through the new Google Ads dashboard. Okay, so I thought the easiest way to be able to show the differences is to show you a side-by-side -side view. So over here on the left, we've got the new Google Ads dashboard layout and on the right here, we've got the current Google Ads dashboard. Now, one thing that I will point out is that it's still using the same format in that you've got three columns as you go across the screen. So in the old one, if I just make this one a little bit bigger, you can see you've got column one, which is it went through all of the campaigns. And then from there, you would have this sub column and then all of the data in here. Then on the new Google Ads dashboard, you can see you've got the same thing. You've got column one, column two, and all of the data in here. Now, the one thing that I did want to point out is that between the, with the old Google Ads dashboard is that 
this column to the left, to the one that was on the far left, was very much around all of your campaigns. So it would show you all of the campaigns that you have active. And then from there, if you selected an individual campaign, all of this data was relative to that individual campaign that you'd selected. On the new dashboard, you can actually see from here is that this far left one actually is a merger of this campaign data, but it's also got all of this data that was at the top. So the tools and settings, the reporting is all down here on the left which is very much looking like the new GA4. Now, what you can see from here as well is they've got campaigns, goals, which is your obviously your conversion actions, the tools. This is where this shows you everything from your keyword planner into your audience managers under your shared library. Then also your Google tag, your troubleshooting. So there are actually some different menus in here. Now, as I said, I haven't gone through all of them. I will probably go through and release another video or at a later date because there is some great new data that looks like it is in here. The reason why I'm hesitant to go through in detail on this is because it is likely that some of these things will change. But what won't change is that this new layout where you've got this campaigns, goals, tools, billing, and admin all here on the left. So I'll be honest with you, this is something that I actually quite like. I actually think this is a good layout in through here. Now, the other thing that what you will find in through here is that this middle column, it's got more drop down menus. So from here, it's basically bringing out the campaigns, assets, now the audience keywords and content. I think that's great that they've grouped that in together. And then we've got our change history from in here. Now, the thing that I do like about it straight away is that a lot of people would, wouldn't realize all of this extra information that was in this column because it was hidden behind this show more and show less. There was also also some different things. Now, I didn't mind it because I knew that all of these things were here, but for some people, they weren't aware of all of the data that's in there. So let's go through and have a bit of a look. So obviously your campaigns, that's gonna go through your different campaigns. Now, the other thing that what you can do in here as well is that with this new one, if you wanted to, so at the moment we're looking at all campaigns, but if you wanted to go through and select an individual campaign, you can do this at the top. So I do like the fact that they've brought this into the top because I find it's a little bit user friendly. And then you can go through and bring in your ad groups. If you were looking at all campaigns and clicked on ad groups, it would bring all of those ad groups. If you were looking at just one campaign, it would just give you that one ad group or the ad groups that are in that campaign. Now this insights and reports tab, this is gonna be very much not only for Performance Max, but also for your search terms. So if you were to go into here, this would obviously just be your search terms for your search campaigns. Now we don't know whether you're gonna see the search terms for Performance Max, I'd love to see it in there, but I doubt that we will. But we do know that we will be able to add in some account level negative keywords. So that is a positive. And then when you get into your like where your ads were showing, this will be something that will also pull up for a search campaign. It'll show you when the ads were showing. It then also shows you this where. Now this will be something even, especially if you're using display and video campaigns, you'll see this data in through here. So this is something that I do really like. I think this is something that is a good addition. You could also see these when ads were shown in your old Google Ads campaign, but it was kind of hidden in this reports data. And then you'd have to go into predefined reports, time, and you'd see the data from there. So as I said, there are actually some extra data points, which I've been quite surprised about. Now, the other thing that I do want to show is that as we can see in through here with your assets, this is where all of your site links and your call extensions and everything is running in through from here. Previously, this was in the ad and assets. And then also as well, as I said, the one thing I do like is I do like that they've grouped together these audiences, keywords, and content all together. Just because I'm a big believer, especially when it comes to search campaigns, is that you're not just wanting to get the correct search keyword, you're also wanting to make sure that you're doing it by the right like audience. Also too, with the audiences, remember that's where we're seeing the demographics and also the right locations. So there's a lot more data in here and I do feel that this is actually an easier way to go about it. I wouldn't be too up in arms about the changes. As I said, I just wanted to give you a quick overview. The main thing that I do like is that they haven't moved away from this three columns. So you've got column one, column two, column three. And the other thing that I do like, if you ever do get lost, they've kept this search bar up here at the top. So although there are some changes around there, I, as I said, I do like that they've still got these three columns uh, heading in through there. So that's an initial look at the new Google Ads dashboard. As I said, I didn't go into all of the different parts of the Google Ads dashboard because it's highly, highly likely that things will be changing and there'll be some extra elements that aren't in there right now. But if you wanna stay up to date with everything that is happening in Google Ads, make sure that you not only subscribe, but you turn on that notification bell so that you know every time I release a free Google Ads training video, 
right here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. And in 2023, if you wanna get the best out of Google Ads, I encourage you to go through and watch my Get Google Ready teaching series. And this is a series which will let you know not only how to correctly set up, but also how to optimize every single Google Ads campaign type that you'll need in 2023. Thank you again. See you next time.